Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some very simple shapes that will allow you to do a variety of things, whether you want to create a lower third, just simply want to have text on shapes, or whatever it is that you want to use, you can do that right here in Shotcut. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to add a video clip at the very bottom track. And then after that, you want to add a video track above that. So you just go ahead and add a video track. And then on this track, you want to go to Open Other and choose Color. And the default is Transparent. Go ahead and choose a different color. So we choose Red in this case. Say OK. And now you have red filling up the entire screen. So what you want to do now is you want to drag this down to your brand new track. And so now it's on this video track right here. So next up we want to add a filter. So the filter you want to add is mask. Now there's three different ones. The one we're going to use is simple shape. So if you notice now we have our color but now it's in this box. So there are a couple things you can do here. The first thing is the operation. So right here, overwrite, it pretty much fills in that shape. There's maximum, fills up the entire screen. Minimum, looks the same as the overwrite to me because it just goes back to the original shape. There's add, that also looks like maximum. And then there's also subtract, which pretty much makes the clip underneath visible for that shape. So there are a couple of other things you could do with this, but we're going to stick with overwrite in this case. And then you can choose from a variety of different shapes. So the default is rectangle. You could choose ellipse, triangle, or diamond. So we're going to stick with a rectangle. And then if you see down here, you can adjust the position and size and even rotation and softness of this shape. So unfortunately, you can't just drag this around. You actually have to move it with the values here, which is kind of annoying. So I'm going to move it down here. And then also, if you notice, it's a little too soft where it's blurry. So I want this to be hard edges. So down to softness, I'm going to bring that down to zero. And now I'm going to make my rectangle. So kind of like a subscribe button right there. Let's go down a little bit more. Okay, I think it's just good enough uh, for these purposes. I'm going to move it down a little bit more. So there's our shape. Super simple. So let me show you how to add some text above that shape. You add another filter. Look for the filter text simple. We'll put that there. And now you can type in whatever text you want. And you could even choose a different font if you want as well. So I'm just going to choose this one. And you could also definitely adjust the size. It's a lot easier with the text because I could simply use this right here directly in the project instead of having to adjust the values here. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just put it right here. Make it a little bit larger. And there is our subscribe button. Uh, so we have our shape and text on top of it. And you can definitely make this any size that you want. You can use any of these shapes. So you do have a lot of flexibility. And at the same time, if you want to add it some other effects, you could do fade as well. For all your email management needs, check out AWeber, the preferred choice news at geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and get a 30-day free trial. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So if you go here, you could drag this circle at the beginning. So that's the fade in. And here's the fade out. And right now when it fades in, it has a black background. So you can adjust that. So you go up here to this filter for fade in video and then choose apply opacity instead of fade with black. And then you could do the same thing to the fade out. So the fade out with opacity. So let's go ahead and check this out. So there it is. And so that's a really easy way for you to add shapes here in Shotcut along with adding text on top of it. There are a lot of things you could do just by using these options alone. So it does give you some flexibility to add a little bit more to your videos besides just simple text. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways that you use shapes, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. 
Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.